Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the WWE Elite Top Picks Sheamus figure. Uh, this is from the recent Top Picks line that came with Cody Rhodes and Logan Paul alongside Sheamus himself. The reason that I really wanted this figure is not only because Sheamus just returned, and in my opinion he's been, you know, I guess <laughs> in his own words putting on banger after banger, uh, but I don't know, I just figured I'd want him in the collection, and on top of that, Sheamus is one of the uh, few wrestlers that I can, like, vividly remember from when I was a kid, and uh, I'm sure if you guys, you know, watch a lot of my videos, you'll know that I wasn't even really a wrestling fan until, like, a year ago, quite literally, like, like back in March of last year, I finally started watching it. And when I was a kid, you know, like 10, 11, 12 years old, I remember going over to my friend's house, and they would watch it, and the one person that always stuck out to me, not even John Cena, Punk, you know, or none of them. It was always Seamus, and I'm glad that he's back now that I'm watching it, and I can kind of enjoy him again. It's funny to think that was now... <sighs> I mean, almost, yeah, like 10, 11, 12 years ago. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, so let's get into this figure, and I'm very excited. He has a lot of cool accessories, which I'm uh, excited to look at as well. Already cut the tape to save on time, so there we go. Beautiful. Out of the box, still in the packaging, that would be Seamus the Great White. Um, nothing really going on in the back of the box. Just a picture of him, Logan Paul and Cody Rhodes, the other figures that come in the box. But uh, with that being said, let's get him out of the packaging. All right, so he does come with an extra set of hands, and then he is equipped with a bunch of accessories. So let's take a look at those first. We'll get him out of here. Oh my gosh, they really buckle him in. Why? Why? Makes no sense to me. See you later. Give Kyle Peterson some love. I don't have a ringside code, but Kyle does. So if you guys want to, you know, get a discount on a figure like this, and I actually got this from Ringside Collectibles from the damage packaging, and I've said it before, I made a whole video about it, or at least like a YouTube short, I think, talking about why, you know, I should just save it for a different video. But bottom line, go check out damage packaging section on Ringside if you're looking for one of the newer figures. Regardless, there we have Seamus. He does stand pretty well, unlike a lot of the other figures that we review here. Uh, but let's take a look at the accessories. Number one, he does come with these grappling hands, the Lego hands, as I like to call them holding hands, whatever you want to call them, and they are very pale. I will say that this has got to be the palest guy that I have in my collection, and, you know, that's kind of his whole gimmick, so I'm not surprised, but there are those. He does have the fisted hands equipped. It's not really zooming in, but let's bring this up for a nice uh, cursory view of him with all the accessories on, and, man, this is a pretty good-looking figure. The head scope might not be great, but we'll get into that. Let's take a look at these accessories first. He's got a bowler hat. He's got a face mask, which is rubber, very interesting, but a little scary, too. Look how thin that is right there. I'm not even sure if I can get it to focus, but look how thin that is. That worries me. That being made of rubber, that could snap incredibly easy, or at least wear away over the years. Uh, but this jacket, yeah, this jacket's actually pretty sweet. All right, so, whoop, well, he just <laughs> took a big tumble, I guess a moonsault. But anyways, here's the jacket. We'll start with that. The outside is kind of like this felt material. I'm not really even sure uh, what I would describe it as, but it's funny to touch, I'll say that. Or I don't even know what you call it. But yeah, some kind of felt, something like that. Uh, and then the inside is just pretty basic, you know, cotton, polyester, whatever. I don't know. I'm not too well-versed on what stuff is made out of. But uh, it's pretty well, uh, you know, created, and I will say that this is one of the few accessories that will probably hold up over time, considering what it is made out of, uh, as opposed to, you know, like the plastic or like the, uh, kind of like the wax that they put on a lot of the clothing here. I think this will actually hold up. The only thing is that stuff might stick to it. It's kind of got a sticky, uh, or like a staticky texture, like a, what do you call it here? On the, the felt here, it might stick to it. But uh, what else do we have? Also, guys, I'm totally stoned right now if I'm like, you know, kind of Speaking weird, I apologize. Uh, but yeah, here's the mask here as well. There we go. And like I said, it's just really rubbery. I don't know. I thought it was going to be, you know, some kind of like solid plastic piece. But it just, I don't know. I'm worried this is going to like totally tear apart. It is super thin. I really want it to focus. But it's not exactly, there you go. But yeah, you can see that's just all rubber. So there we are. Um, on the actual mask, it's set on the box. It's supposed to say warrior just under the eye there. But that detail is not included. Moving on here, though, we do have a hat, a bowler hat, in fact. And it is not bad looking, I will say. Again, I'm going to try to get the focus here. Not a whole lot of detail. It's all the same color. Um, but it's not terrible, I will say. And, uh, you know, kind of combining it with the next part of this, let's throw it on Seamus. He's got the, quite the hair there, so... No wonder this hat is so tall. 
I'm not even sure which way it would really go on. They both look kind of interesting. You know what I mean? A little weird. <laughs> I'm not sure. But let's take a look at the figure itself. And uh, number one, articulates very well. I will say that. It feels very nice in hand. Not too stiff. Not too loose. And I like the gear a lot. Let's start here at the bottom. So you can see that the, the main color scheme on the figure is, is black and white. You know, you kind of expect maybe like green or something. But I like this black and white concept. It's very cool. He's got the Celtic crosses on the back of his uh, boots there. And that design is included on the front of the boots. Along with the, I don't even know what you would call that. I, 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 I guess. Guarantee, I'd put like a, a, I don't know, a Grail CM Punk figure on the fact that this is some kind of Celtic. Th oh yeah, it's the snake eating itself. Well, yeah, exactly. The circle of life is what I was gonna say, and I'm pretty sure that's exactly what this represents. I could be wrong though. I don't really know the, anything about Celtic culture, but that design is continued up here onto the trunks, and it says Laosh. Uh, I forget what that means though. I totally forget. I mean, I've been to Dublin myself, been to Ireland. I think that I learned what that word meant, but it, it totally is escaping me now. But again, that symbol is there right in the middle of the trunks, and then the Celtic cross there on the back, along with the uh, hand guards here. This is something that you notice on a lot of Seamus figures. Uh, well, I mean, he wears them every match, so I'm not surprised. But just the, the Celtic crosses on the armbands there and kind of those those long arm or uh, wristbands, very reminiscent of when I was a kid and just seeing him in the ring just with that gear. That's so funny. Uh, one thing I did say earlier in the video, the uh, skin tone is incredibly pale. If you notice, if I compare this to really any of those guys right there in the front row, he really sticks out from all of them. So it is something unlike uh, any of the other figures that I have or that I've really seen. I think he's probably the palest guy because Vince McMahon was all weird about uh, you know having tans and everything. But moving on to the final piece here, that being the head sculpt, and I'm just going to say it. He looks like a dog for some reason with that mustache. I have no idea why. It's just, he's give, they look like jowls. I feel like that mustache is just, or the, excuse me, the beard is just way too big. I don't know. I don't know. The hair looks good. I guess the face scan looks good, but for some reason that beard is just not doing it for me. I don't know what it is. It just does not look good in my opinion, uh, but I will leave it there. That's really it for this figure. Again, I got this on Ringside Collectibles. Be sure to go check in the damage packaging section. I got a discount on this figure a lot of times, and I'll talk about this in an upcoming video. Uh, they When they get a new shipment, you know, the box gets damaged or whatever, they'll just put it in damage packaging, and you can get an in instant discount on it. And that's exactly what I did with Seamus here, although he has been out for a little bit. So, uh, But yeah, we'll leave it there. Once again, great accessories, great figure. I would totally recommend picking this up, especially now that Seamus is back in the, uh, the WWE. I bet he'll kind of, you know, be involved in some bigger angles and whatnot. But I'll leave it there. Longer video today. Again, I apologize. I'm a little up there, I guess you could say. Uh, but yeah, there you go. I'm very pleased with this figure and the purchase. And as always, folks, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.